OK, Phil and John, our first two contestants. Phil, welcome to Brain Teaser. Uh, Phil, what do you do for a living? I work at a clothes shop in Manchester. OK, uh, you just finished holiday repping though, right? Yeah, been there for three years. Three years, where were you? Magaluf. Magaluf. Okay. How many months to kind of get over that hangover is it going to be? About a month. About a I'm month, still OK, doing Phil. It. All right, well, listen, I'm sure people at work know you're on the show today. Yep. Wish you all the best of luck, Phil. Thanks. You're up against John. John, welcome to Brain Teaser. Oh, yeah. John, what do you do for a living, mate? I work in a motorway service area on the M6. On the M6. Yeah. So, do, do you stop cars as they go past? Uh, yeah, I do. Tomorrow, mate. I get out on the motorway with a placard. <laughs> Surely, surely dangerous, John. A little bit wrong. Yeah, John, possibly. Phil, you're up against each other in the first round. You know how it works. The round is called Scramble. I give you a word. We're going to break it up into segments. You have to unscramble it. Ready to play? Yep. All right, good luck. Let's see how they do with today's first Scramble. John. Lemonade. Lemonade, well done. First five points are yours. Phil. Strategic. It is the right answer. <laughs> Easy for you to <laughs> say, Phil, but <laughs> we'll accept the five points. <clears throat> John. Devastate. Devastate is what we're looking for. Well done. John. Thoughtful. Yeah, well done. Another five points to John's score. It's quite quick on the buzzer as well. <coughs> Phil. Frightening. Frightening. Well done. OK, have a look at this one. John. Christened. Christened is what we were looking for. Well done. John. Spectacular. Here's the right answer. John gets another five points. Nice lead at the moment for John. Phil, you're not too far behind, though. Oh, it was like double tapping. Mm. Uh, John got there first. Perceptiveness. Is the right answer. Well done, yeah. Oh, Phil got there first. Immediately. Immediately is right. Yeah, John's going for it as well, but it's a split second behind. Oh, John got there first that time. Lamentation. Is the answer we were looking for. Unlucky Phil, very close. <laughs> Any ideas? No, disadvantage is the word we were looking for. OK, nothing to worry about. Take a look at the next one. <clears throat> John. Vernacular. Is the right answer. A tough one to see as well. What's the word, John? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Phil, I beg your pardon. Sectionless. No. It is the wrong answer. I'm going to pass it back to John. I confused myself with there. Um, uh, John, am I Selection. <clears throat> selection is what we were looking for. Well done, yeah. We'll give you the five points on that one. I confused myself there, that was all. Uh, John. Disqualify. Is the right answer. Well done. John gets another five points added to his score. Any ideas? John? No, I don't know. No, we're going to pass it back to Phil. <coughs> no, I'm good. No, OK. Pageantry is what we were looking for on that one. But that is the end of the round. Let's take a look at those scores. Phil's got himself 15 points. John is in the lead with 50 points. OK, still another two rounds to go. We'll find out which one goes through to the semi-final. Today's Brain Teaser. OK, Phil and John, the next round is a round called Crossfire, OK? Now, what we do is we bring a crossword onto the screen for both of you, but John has taken a little bit of an early lead, which means, John, the good news is you get the first question. So, Brilliant. let's bring on the Crossfire and get our computer to select John's first number. <clears throat> OK, it's gone for number eight for you. Uh, we're looking for number eight. Geronimo was the, one of the leaders of which North American tribe? Apache. It's the right answer. Well done, John, you get the ten points. Pick a number. Seven, please. Number seven. Zoe Lucker played this footballer's wife who ended up behind bars in Bad Girls. What's her first name? Carla. Oh, it's going to go back to Phil. Phil, Zoe Lucker played this footballer's wife who ended up behind bars in Bad Girls. What's her first name? Is it Katie? It's not. No, it's Tanya. Tanya. Tanya Turner and now Tanya Laszlo. Clearly fans of both those shows. Uh, pick a number, Phil. Go <laughs> nine, please. Number nine for you. What's the first name of the stinger whose hits include Electric Avenue, I Don't Want to Dance, and Gimme Hope, Joanna? Eddie. Eddie, yep, Eddie Grant. OK, lots on the board. Phil, you're picking up the points. Which one? Can I have ten, please? Number ten for you. This breed of goat is widely bred for its soft, silky wool known as mohair. Alpine. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I'll pass it over nope. to John. John, any ideas? <clears throat> no. No, Angora is what we were looking for. John, you get to choose a number from the board this time. Number five. Number five for you. What's the surname of the American goalie who plays for Manchester United? Howard. Howard is right. Yep, Tim Howard. OK, lots on the board still, John. Four, please. Number four for you. 
Which loud single did Lulu have a top ten hit with in 1964? Shout. Shout is right, yeah. Another good answer, another ten points, John. You've got a nice lead at the moment. Three. <clears throat> okay, number three. In Star Wars, what is the name of the Wookiee? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> if someone phones in and says that was Steve Irwin, I will sue. Uh, okay, one, two or six, please, John. Six. <laughs> number six for you. Which, mom, uh, which former member of Hearsay is expecting her first baby with Darren Day? Sure. Is the right answer, Suzanne Shaw. One or two? Two. Please. Number two. He's cleaning up the board at the moment. Phil is not oh. getting a look in. In UK politics, what is the first name of the deputy leader of the opposition? Don't know. OK, charge for Phil here. Phil, in UK politics, what is the first name of the deputy leader of the opposition? <clears throat> Might be worth a guess. Or not. <laughs> no, no, no. Michael, Michael Ankrum is who we were looking for. Finally, number one, you get the first uh, chance at this then, Phil. Which country in Southeast Asia has an orange flag with a yellow star in the centre? Don't know. No, I'm going to pass it over to John. John, which country in Southeast Asia has an orange flag with a yellow star in the centre? Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam is right. Well done. So, John gets the last 10 points of the round, but let's take a look at those final scores. So far, Phil has 25, John's in the lead with 110. <coughs> OK, <clears throat> one more round to go, and we will find out which one of these guys goes through, <coughs> excuse me, very, very soon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brain Teaser, the show that is live on five, right here, right now. In a moment, John versus Phil for a place in the semi-final. John's got a nice lead at the moment. Phil's not happy about it, so things can change. We'll find out how they get on in a moment. Get on the phone, tell me what the word is, and I will give you £500. Good luck. In the meantime, who goes through to the semi-final? Let's get back to Brain Teaser. OK, Phil and John. OK, now, the scores are a little bit stretched at the moment. For you at the moment, Phil, you've got a little yeah. bit of catching up to do. Now, this round is called Wordplay. It works like this. You'll see two lines of a puzzle, both of you. In the top line is a word. The letters are all mixed up. Now, they're going to drop down one at a time. They're going to land into the line below. Your job is to tell me what the word is as soon as you can. You ready to play? All right, fingers by the buzzers. John doesn't really care, so he could lose. Uh, let's find out as we give them their first wordplay. John. Amaze. Amaze. And you do with your personality and charming <laughs> wit. I sure I do. Have a look at this one. <clears throat> a and the S have gone in there. The N. Oh, Phil got there first. Jeans. Jeans is right. Yeah, well done. I think John knew it, but it was just a split second after you there. <clears throat> the D's in the right place. John. Paddock. Paddock is right. Well done. <clears throat> Phil. Ugly. <laughs> Pass it back to John then, for some reason. Uh, L? Gully. Is the right answer, yeah. Gully is what we're looking for. Unlucky Phil. <laughs> T is in the right place. <clears throat> the L. There's the E. John. Central. Is the right answer. Another 10 points for John. Score? Phil. Aroma. Aroma is right. Well done with just one letter. Well played, Phil. John. Cathedral. Yeah, well played. Another 10 points. First of the letter E's, Phil. Beetroot. Beetroot is right, well done, yeah. Another 10 points. <clears throat> the M is now in the right place. There's the O, the T, the Y. Phil. Dormitory. Is the correct answer, well done, we'll give you another 10 points. T, first of the T's, Phil. Quintet. Quintet is right, well done. <clears throat> OK, that cleans up the board. Let's take a look at those scores. Phil's got himself 75 points. John still in the semi-final with a great score of 160 points. Uh, which means we say goodbye to Phil. Not a bad score at all there. In the end. Right. You did start to come back there, didn't you? Yeah. He had a good round in the middle one, didn't he? Just a little bit, yeah. Phil, great to meet you. Cheers. Uh, have a great Christmas, matey. Thanks. Well done, John. Thanks. You are in the semi-final. So we've got a first semi-finalist. We have another two contestants hoping to join John. 